Hello everyone, my name is Tori, so if you're new here, thank you for joining me today, and if you're returning, thank you for stopping by to watch another video, and today I thought I would have a cup of coffee, of course, um, but I thought I would show uh, my sticker book collection because I recently reorganized all of my stickers, and it took days, and I want to show somebody. <laughs> um, so I've had this sticker book album for a little bit now, and it is from Shine Sticker Studio, of course. If you're new here, I'm obsessed with them. I talk about them all the time, and I use all their stickers. Not all of their stickers, but I mean, I might as well, like, be solely powered on Shine Sticker Studio. But um, this was a sticker book album they came out with. I want to say in February. I'm not quite sure on the dates, but it was designed by um, the youngest family member of the company that runs it, and it's a different style than their normal style, and I really love it. She's cute. This is their Luna character, and on the back it just says, Be Your Own Hero. It was kind of like a Sailor Moon type of theme without saying Sailor Moon, and I really liked it. Um, and so I recently purchased this one, also from Shine Sticker Studio, but this one is a, um, like a sticker, I don't, sticker book, sticker album. So like this one has, uh, the sticker backing paper. So this is what took three freaking days to fill up. And I'm telling you, I filled it up, um, because I wanted to kind of streamline my sticker storage because I had like multiple sticker books that I've had for years and I just was never reaching for them and I figured if I put them in a place where they're all together um I can have a bird's eye view of what I actually own and it's portable that would increase the use by far and I definitely think it was a smart move um because I'm just not I don't know I'm not as like, what would be the word? I feel like outside of, or out of sight, out of mind um, happens to me, especially with the sticker world, because, you know, if I have drawers over here that like, if it's just in the drawer, I don't think about it. I don't know. So, um, and you can see it's not <laughs> the most glamorous of, um, I'm grabbing my tweezers here the most glamorous of setups because this one somehow jumped off a page and made it to the front. I'm not quite sure how, but, um, can you see that? It's a little question mark flag. <laughs> um, and I use these tweezers and when I tell y'all three days of pulling various sizes, um, various types of stickers off of sticker paper, I have a new respect for sticker creators who lay out their sticker sheets in a very intuitive way. Um, and of course, I feel like I always talk about Shine Sticker Studio, but by far, even the stuff that I took out of the sticker book and I finally collapsed in here, it was so much easier to transfer their stickers than it was some of like the dollar store stickers because it was like, obviously, you can tell um, which stickers were laid out on the page by somebody who really cared versus like a manufacturer who's just trying to sell a product. Um, and that was very evident to me the more I did this and I thought that was a really unique insight. I didn't expect to find that out about stickers, <laughs> but I did. So I'm just gonna pull this open. I tried to organize it, um, but I got really excited when it first came. So it may not make a lot of sense to anyone else, but it's, you know, it makes sense to me. <laughs> uh, so this is like what was left over in, um, parts of the sticker book because initially I wasn't thinking I would take out all of the stickers of the sticker book and put them in here. But the further along I got into it, I was like, I've already done like two other sticker books. I might as well just get that one out of the way too. So, um, if you've seen some of my previous plan with me's, I pulled sticker books um, out. I had one that was like a farmhouse theme 
and it was from the paper studio I believe I picked it up at Hobby Lobby and then I had um, two other sticker books outside of the shine sticker book that were like donated to me from like hey I bought this at Walmart for 75 cents and I'm not gonna use it do you want it and I was, I was like sure um, and so I don't even know how old those stickers are um, they were just secondhand so that all to say by the time that I got through all those sticker books these were the first ones I laid down and then I was like I just might as well put it all in there so this is kind of what I was thinking I'd put in there at first and then these are all of like just random stickers I have a ton of Pokemon stickers because you know that's how I I'm I love Pokemon I'm obsessed. Um, I literally watched it from five years old and I'm a Pokemon stan. I just love it because I, I grew up in a daycare type of situation where, you know, I went to school. Um, well, I went to daycare first. My parents would drop me off at daycare. The daycare would bus us to school. The bus would take us back to the daycare and then my parents would pick me up. So I spent a lot of my day at a daycare where they put on Pokemon, and that was for everybody, and then, like, Digimon and Dragon Ball Z were for the boys, so, like, I was really into Pokemon. Um, so, as you can see, I want to do a spread eventually with them, but I just haven't decided when yet. So, and then, these were the leftover icons from the, um, Shine Sticker Studio sticker book, and I added in, um, other stickers from that old Walmart sticker book as well as the leftovers from the Just One More Chapter kit, I believe is its name. Um, I think that's its name, from the Coffee Monsters Co. and the um, leftover Baby Yoda stickers I have. And this is why it took three days, because it, I'm one of those people that if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it all the way. I'm not going to, you know, halfway do it. Um, because even when I try to talk myself into doing it halfway, I still end up doing it all the way. So this took like hours. Um, and this is what I mean by like an unintuitive placement because you would think like for the Shine Sticker Studio stickers, all of the same icons were in the same row, regardless of color. It was very intuitive. I appreciated it so much in this very, very specific situation of which I was taking them off the sheet and trying to put them in order. Seamless took like minutes, right? This sticker book was the farmhouse sticker book from the paper studio um, from Hobby Lobby. All of these icons were in different places. Like they were all in the same sheet, but you had a line of like green. And they had different icons all throughout the green line. And then another color. And it would alternate. And all the icons were in different places. And it drove me absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. Like why wouldn't you just put the icons that match together in the same space? And you see like here. That was a flag for like a location dropper these were on completely different pages so i had to like flip through the sticker book multiple times just to see am i missing any and half the time i was um are there any other icons that i was missing that like match the ones that i'm doing like are there any more phones in this sticker book i don't know i have to flip through sixty thousand pages i'm being really dramatic but when i tell y'all i was so frustrated <laughs> obviously i'm feeling very passionate about it and this is also where you can see um the quality of like a, a shop that is um, a small business like the Coffee Monsters Co. or Shine Sticker Studio. Like these are really old planner stickers that I still had. And I this is gonna, I, I hope this makes somebody chuckle, but these are from Amazon's holiday toy book. <laughs> I thought they were really cute, so I kept the sticker part of it. Um, but you can tell like these stickers are just genuine, genuine, that's not even a word, general manufacturing. Like, um, they're not by anybody, like these ones down, not these over here, but they're not by like somebody who really cared enough to quality assess their stickers, right? But 
the Shine Sticker Studio, the Coffee Monsters Co., the Small Sticker Shop stickers that are run by individuals who care about what they're putting out there, those stay on the sticker paper a lot better than any of the mass-produced stickers. So that definitely tells me that while, you know, sometimes it's, it may feel inconvenient at times to um, order from a small business like a sticker shop because you have to wait longer for shipping or, you know, they're in a different country and you don't want to pay the shipping costs or whatever it may be, it's definitely more worth your bang for your buck, right? Because I can go into Hobby Lobby and find a sticker book like this today, but, um, I don't know. It's more a quantity over quality with this and it's, they're cute stickers, but even when it comes to just replacing them on a sticker book like this, it's, it shows you how, um, the quality is so less. These are my trash stickers from Lou Stellari Co. Um, I have a lot of them. And these are dumpster fire stickers from Shine Sticker Studio. More Shine Sticker Studio. And this, again, shows you the quality. So Walmart, Dollar General. And I'm about to, this is about to be horrifying. Like, look at all how all those stickers don't stick on the page. Because it, I don't think it has anything to do with the sticker book, obviously. Like, the common denominator is not, I mean, not the common denominator. The, um sticker paper works well for the stickers that are well made right but if you have like a dollar store sticker this is probably what you're gonna get because it's not made for um repositional use or whatever I don't know it's just not it's it's not it's a dollar store sticker so you get what you get right like I said like all of this transfer I'm not even going to mess with it because it's just going to fall off again. But this is where I started putting the stickers back in from the sticker book that I said I wasn't going to take out because it just made sense and I'd probably reach for them more and no problems there. I mean, stay stuck. Looks wonderful. All the icons are in the right places. Oh my gosh, so satisfying. Um, more baby yoda stickers and i also had a stitch sticker book from hobby lobby and that's your mid-tier sticker quality <laughs> um this again is shine sticker studio here cool. i will say like even if you do have quality stickers it's the smaller ones that always kind of get a little out of line sometimes um, these were from Stationery Pal, and I had those on sheets. So a lot of what I put in here, along with what was in sticker books, was like one-off sheet packs that didn't fit in my sticker album, or they were sheets that were in my sticker albums, but they were like leftovers from sticker sheets I'd already used. Um, so these were also Stationery Pal stickers that I haven't used yet. This is from a planner that I had purchased two, three years ago, and these were in the back of the planner, um, and I purchased it prior to the, um, insensitive comments the creator made, and so I thought the planner was really cool because it said I solemnly swear I'm up to no good, and I thought that was funny for a planner, but these are what I have left over. This is from a smaller sticker book from Hobby Lobby that was the bees page and I just put it on this page. These stickers are from the um, Stationery Pal sheets. These laundry stickers are from Loose Stellari Co. I just got them in um, as well as the book stickers. These were stickers that were given to me by Pen Pals so all of these. Um, I think I still have the sheet though let me see if I can find um no it's not there I want to um patronize that store so I kept what I could see off of the part of the sheet clipped 
And this is the store name. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Sof Time Studio? I'm not sure. But that is where all of these girl stickers came from. And these desktop stickers. Um, these are different freebies and leftover stickers. And then um, this was actually the Shine Sticker Studio February Valentine's Day freebie or something like that. And I, all the stickers were in the planner, but I cut the sticker backing paper out of the middle. And I'm going to try to use this somewhere because I think it's really cool. Um, again, TCMC freebies over here. Some more Shine Sticker Studio. These are from Pen, Paper, and Plans. Um, really old Walmart sticker book freebies all of these are freebies and then more old walmart stickers and you again can tell they're old walmart stickers that are on their last leg because they do not stay and you know it could be the manufacturing like i think it is but it could also be that it's the age of the stickers like i said i don't know how old they are because they were given to me secondhand um, all of this is Shine Sticker Studio, and then these are freebies I was given by different, um, I think I was given these by, hmm, maybe a pen pal, or it could have been in the, um, goodie bags, excuse me, it could have been in the goodie bags that I got from my pen, paper, and plants order. But these are from Loose Stolari Co. as well. Shine Sticker Studio. All, and then this was the um, Hobby Lobby Paper Studio Farmhouse Kit. So I tried to put all of the stickers that were similar together. But again, all of these today stickers, like, literally put throughout the sticker book all of these ASAP, deadline, priority, they're all throughout the sticker book. So I had to be flipping through so many pages to find like the same kinds of stickers together. And I just, that's not intuitive to me. Like I think if this book was made for aesthetics and not for purpose, even though it has functional stickers in it, they were interspersed so much throughout the book that it just made me mad. <laughs> and like, I don't think I'm going to be using these stickers anytime soon because I'm still heated over the design of the book. And that's not anything that the stickers did. But now they have bad juju. And I need to sit it out for a minute. <laughs> um, so that's all of these. All of the functional I tried to put together along with the deco. I tried to, you know, arrange it by like what's blank. Um, and then you know, more blank and then functional and then went into script stickers. So you can kind of see that. Um, but yeah, that is that book. This one is giving me trouble because it's backing is not, is falling off the wagon pretty quickly. Um, and then these, um, bug and butterfly moth stickers were from a Hobby Lobby smaller sticker book. These were from a larger sticker book that were like romantic blooms or something. Also from Hobby Lobby. Same sticker book here. Same one here. I actually forgot about like these affirmation, aff I almost said affirmative and then I was like affirmation. So I said affirmations. Anyways, these were um, like affirmation stickers that I did not even realize I had. Um, so... I like them and I've been using them a little bit here and there just because I like the messages behind them. Like, you are enough, um, grow tall, you are valuable. So, I like those. Um, and these top ones, like these are um, freebies from Nib and Fleur. These like three ink blots in that one. Um, that was a freebie given to me by Pen, Paper, and Plans. I don't know who it's from. These were from the um, Hobby Lobby smaller sticker book. And then the fall ones, with the exception of this box here, the fall ones are from Pen, Paper, and Plans. These floral stickers are from this freebie sheet from Kubo and Lucy Stationery Co. And then that box is Loose Stellare Co. These boxes down here are Loose Stellare Co. River and Ink. And then these are the Walmart stickers. 
Um, these were freebie stickers that I just felt matched. I'm sorry if I'm like halfway out of frame. I'm going to grab some coffee really quick. Um, these stickers were freebies from the Prairie Planner, obviously. I just thought they matched the colors and I was running out of space, so I put them there. Um, more of the farmhouse stuff because, again, I was like, I'm just going to put a little of each in here. And then I was like, why would I do that? And just put the whole thing in and get rid of these sticker books. So that's why some of these, um, like, ASAP, ASAP stickers where I tried to categorize them over here. Let's see. Yeah, like, remember, busy, call. And I think there is a whole, like, ASAP section, right? So these over here, I didn't do that because I just thought I was going to put a little in. And that book was also really or disorganized, in my opinion, and not intuitive, like I've already said a million times. These are more Walmart stickers. Um... I have used these emoji since I pulled them out because I was like, I really need to use this stuff. Like, it's just sitting here and it's not getting used. And it's probably some of the oldest stickers I have. And while it's not the cutest thing in the world, like, I think I can benefit from using them. And I have so far, like, I've used some of the stickers. Like, I'm, I am currently trying to get some of these um, sun stickers to track the weather because I'm not, I'm not as good at tracking the weather just because I don't see any point in it. Um, but I do, I'm trying to make a better effort of doing that with these stickers since they're here. And I did use one of these stickers, um, these little surprise faces right here. Um, because I watched Crazy Not Insane and it's an HBO documentary about Dr. Dorothy Lewis. Um, I watched that last night and I put that emoji down to <laughs> signify that because, well, it's not an emoji, emoji, excuse me. Um, because it was like talking about dissociative identity disorder, um, which was formerly known as multiple personality disorder. And I didn't know that like the psych, the world of psychiatry and psychology is really divided on that diagnosis and that a lot of psychiatrists even today don't believe it's a thing and dr lewis was actually like the pioneer in the field to try to advocate for it and get it seen as a legitimate um diagnosis and it was uh looking at it through the lens of like a lot of serial killers that she interviewed ended up being um like she could have argued for that diagnosis and a lot of people didn't take her seriously because our society quickly became more punitive than rehabilitative when it came to criminals and so you know she was looking at people who had committed really vicious crimes and murdered like dozens of people and most of them women um but it was just she was looking at their brains. She was being unbiased and looking at their neurological function. And with, like, th there was no exception that every single serial killer she looked at had issues in their brain. And it was like, people didn't want to hear that. They just wanted to say, that guy's evil. We're executing him. Whereas she was like, mm, that person has... Um, like a cyst on their frontal lobe and that's probably why they did this and she was looking for like why do people murder why do they do these things and she found why like it comes down to trauma and like a lot of serial killers that she looked at had family trauma of or like histories of their um, families abusing them doing other stuff like that I'm getting really way off topic. I'm sorry. It was just really fascinating. Um, and, you know, she was show proving it to courts, to other um, psychiatrists in her field. And they just didn't think, they were like, that's, that's a joke and it's not real. And you're getting played and now you're playing us. So it was fascinating. Um, but yeah. So I used those little faces because I was just like, whoa, um, when I was watching it. Uh, but these, again... 
Walmart stickers. And so that is that sticker book and it is a game changer y'all. Like I, if you don't have one of these, I highly encourage getting one. I'm probably the only one who didn't. So take that as you will, but I love this design because yes, <laughs> coffee and then stickers. So yeah, this has changed my stationary organization and brought it to another level that I really, really enjoy. So, um, I'm going to move that one aside. And since I had all of those stickers organized, I kind of went in and reorganized my sticker book here because I had pulled out a lot of like the leftovers, the freebies that I had in here and put them in that one. So now I reorganized it. I have, um, I'm just kind of going to really quickly flip through this because I did not expect to talk this long about my sticker organization. And I, if you've made it this far, thank you. <laughs> um, so I was looking at it as in it's new year. The first thing that would be addressed would be like holidays, right? Uh, I'm saving some of these for next year just because I got them later in the year. Um, I didn't get them right at January. And then I was like, okay, well, how do you start your day? Um, you think about the weather. So I have my weather marking stickers here that are on sheets. And then I was like, well, when your day starts or when my day starts, I'm feeling very unmotivated. I'm tired. I don't want to get out of bed. So I have all of these, um, emojis and tired, sad emojis, stuff like that. How do you fix tiredness and sadness? You get coffee. So I have like all the coffee stickers in one spot. Um, and kind of themed it out like that. And then I kind of went down into tea and conversations because they're, it made sense to me that like, they're also beverages, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then once you have your coffee, you start work. So I have all the work stickers along with day off and payday. And then once you get off of work, you take care of your responsibilities, such as grabbing groceries, cleaning the house, um, dusting, feeling old and tired, <laughs> um, and then, like, pick up any packages. I'm just kind of, like, thinking of it as, like, a progression throughout the day type of thing. Um, and then, at, like, you take time for yourself. So, you have, like, little self-care affirmations and stickers and stuff like that. So, like, a nap time sticker, me time, cheat day, um, period emojis, like, emotional emojis and then you know a doctor appointment and I kind of went functional with um sticky note stickers and then I put this here because I was trying to keep it with the period emojis and the cheat day but I like forgot and I was too lazy to take everything out and put it all back again um a sampler and then more emotions emojis planning time canceled rescheduled so like logistics types of stickers as well as sticky notes this was the lucky charms theme so I just kind of kept it to there and these are also like emotions so I kept those in the same space and then I put these in because I'm saving this sheet from Kiari Creations for my birthday week because I'm a Leo and I want to use it on that week and I think it's really cute I love the little lion he looks so goofy and I adore it and I thought that would be you know that would make sense to be across from the spring critters one and then I have you know since I want to use this for my birthday my brain thought put the other one right there and then you can go into your bear stickers and then I went into once you're done with your self-care or part of your self-care is kind of doing the things you enjoy so like watching tv having a movie night, playing games, and then reading. This section is big for me because I do a lot of reading. So I have a lot of reading stickers. And then that kind of ends that, but I put all the die cuts in the back. So I have the Inuasha die cuts that I still have, um, the Van Gogh die cuts, and the Unicorn die cuts that I got from Stationery Pal. These were freebies in a goodie bag from one of my most recent purchases from Shine Sticker Studio. And then these were die cuts given to me by a pen pal. And lastly, these are all the die cuts I'm planning to somehow stick on my Hobonichi cousin for next year or 
you know, I want them to go on the front of some kind of notebook that I'm using. So yeah, it's a lot more streamlined now. I feel like I'm going to be faster at finding the stickers I need. And that is how I have currently organized my sticker stash. Um, this isn't everything because I do have like kits that are not, they don't fit and I didn't want to take a kit apart and put it in here. So I just kept them at the way they are and they're in a drawer over here on my desk. But for the most part, this is the majority of how my stickers are organized. And so I'm gonna shut up now and drink some more coffee. And I appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, I hope you'll consider subscribing or giving me a thumbs up to help me grow my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.